Sad news uh, today that uh, one of the greats of English cricket, uh, probably the, one of the greatest spin bowlers uh, in English cricket history, Derek Underwood, uh, died aged 78. And uh, somebody who knew him and played with him was uh, David Lloyd. Uh, Bumble joins us now. Good afternoon, Bumble. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon. sad news. Had you kept in touch with him, Bumble? I saw him from time to time during cricket seasons. And uh, you know, I played with him as as you mentioned. Obviously, played against him. He, he was just a superb bloke, very down to earth. Um, he, he, as a batsman, he, he was quite funny, uh, <laughs> but his main forte, of course, was as a spin bowler, a devastating spin bowler. But he had these sort of ten to two feet, and he'd come out as a night watchman and get peppered by fast bowlers. <laughs> And and he was frightened to death, but somehow from time to time, he, he survived. Um, a wonderful fella, absolute gent of a bloke, and he loved a pint. Uh, he <laughs> just loved a pint at the end of play, and he was quite posh as well. And you know, we we all have in the game, we'd have great memories of him. Uh, Bumble, not, I, I can yeah. remember. I grew up like around Essex in the days of um, Ray East and David Ackfield, obviously mm. like the Essex yeah. Spin twins. <laughs> and with uh, Derek Underwood, I obviously just saw him on on TV, mm. and he was a bit of a trailblazer. You know, like what I related to is when Boris Becker he first saw him at Wimbledon, yeah. and he was diving and diving volleys. You know, yeah. no one ever seen that before. Mm. With uh, Derek Underwood, his spin bowling was more spin sort of medium pace yeah. where on wet tracks he could skid it through and then when it dried out a bit then he could turn it yeah he, he was a cutter he, he didn't have you know when spin bowlers will will put purchase on their index finger not him he held it so differently and everybody when he first started he, he wanted to be a medium pacer mm. and he quickly mm. changed into this style of spin bowling and you mentioned his nickname, Deadly, he was exactly that on a pitch, uncovered pitches as they had. He would bowl a team out in an hour. He'd be absolutely unplayable. Um, it, you know, I remember a game we played, I think it was at Blackpool, and it was a green tinge pitch with a bit of dampness in it. And the seamers had done the bit. And it might have been Mike Dennis who, who threw him the ball. Come on, Deadly, have a ball. Nothing untoward. We didn't think this is going to be unplayable. He got seven for six. Wow, he just bowled us out. And unplayable because he it, it, it wasn't a spinner. He was a cutter and he bowled it much quicker than spin bowlers do. Yeah, no, he did. They were quite flat when they quick and flat the way. Yeah, but they weren't flat. loopy at all, were they? And it was only off of Not like four or five <clears> paces, <throat> well, wasn't it? Yeah. What, what he might hang on, he, he, he used to run in. He, he had a he, you, know, you see spinners now who would be quite methodical and and just walk in. He he ran in and bowled at this pace, and of course his mate were behind the stumps. Alan, Alan Knott, Knott was yeah, behind yeah. the stumps, and they, they had you know they, they had telepathic between the pair of them. They knew what was coming, not knew what was coming, and they had little signals as to what delivery it would be. But he, you can't stress he was much quicker, much much quicker. Than your normal spin bowler. Yeah. Well, Bumble, appreciate you joining us. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Thanks, Bumble.